guys back in the barns, the guys back at home. This experience has been everything I could have dreamt for to be part. The cattle that you presented yesterday and today, the way you prepared them, the courtesy, the respect that you showed Peter and I, we greatly appreciate it. And our hats off to you, you breeders, exhibitors, you owners, the guys at home. It's about the cows, and you guys have done a great job. Thank you very much. Next, I'd like to thank uh, Milk and Milking, or the Milking Shorthorn Society, World Dairy Expo, for asking me to judge the show to be your official. Today, it's like I said, it's, it's a huge honor and a tremendous honor to judge any show, whether it's a county fair or on the color of shade. It's just been a huge honor, days that I'll remember for quite some time. Thank you very much. Next, I would like to thank my associate, Peter Coyne, Peter and Lisa have been friends of mine, if you read the Daily News for quite some time. Peter's been a great friend of mine, a great teacher of mine, and a tremendous role model. He's been a great asset to have me out here, uh, to be with me by my side, and we've seen cows together. This was a team effort. I thank him very much for his support. Thank you very much, Peter. And last but not certainly least, I'd like to thank my friends, my family, my supporters. I got a great network of friends. Can't wait to see you afterwards. Hopefully we're still friends afterwards. I think we are. My wife, she's up here in the stand somewhere. Sarah, you're the love of my life. Thank you for all your support. Every day you give me support on whatever we do in the dairy industry. We do it as a team. And if you were here for the heifer show yesterday, you saw two young boys running around making some noise, and there are my two sons, and when you're standing on the colored shavings, and you've got two little boys that are cheering, hey dad, hey dad, there's really not a feeling like that in the world. Thank you very much. Sorry, that speech got a little longer than I thought. I love these individuals that are out here. These are what we're looking for. I like the style, the straightness of line. You start with that big senior yearling. She's a heck of a heifer. The style of the spring yearling. Our senior two, our junior three, five year old age cow. Just tremendous. I love the side profile of these. But who gets down to it? This five year old should be your grand champion cow. And then for reserve, we're going to maturity. This age cow will be reserved. Just the frame and width and power that this five-year-old possesses. The beautiful udder that she has. We have the best udder award over there. And she can get that as well. She'll be the best udder of the show. We also do have a reserve best udder. And in a close placing, we'll have the age cow. She'll be the second best udder of the show for having seven calvings over the two-year-old. I love this two-year-old. She'll have her day in the sun, but today it's about these older cows. Five-year-old, grand champion, reserve champion on the age cow. Thank you very much. International Belking Shorthorn Show. It is failed row lady 5086 twin EXP shown by John Stewart Rao of Orland, California. And the reserve grand champion, Landsbrook Christina EXP ET, shown by Jordan Landsgard of Landsbrook, St. Olaf, Iowa. Judge Trapp and Judge Coin analyzed 187 animals at this year's International Melting Shorthorn Show. Let's show them our appreciation with a wonderful